And uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? It's just the overall aesthetic. I just don't feel like it matched my vibe. It's not really your type. Um, the aesthetic. Okay. Yeah. What is my aesthetic? I was going to say, <laughs> um, what, you, what would you say is your aesthetic? Because you got that twice now. So they don't, I don't know. I'm kind it. of a dork. Okay. But like an endearing dork, you mm. know? Okay. Yeah. Uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, it's the outfit. <laughs> I'm just not feeling it. Okay. And I don't know, the aesthetic too. Mm. It's not my title. So that is all of the balloons popped, unfortunately. But we do thank you for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for him, ladies. Well, have fun. <laughs> nice to meet y'all. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to tell the black men who fit this type of avatar, there is nothing wrong with you, bro. Nothing. What we used to be told in the black community when we seen black men that had different interests, such as anime or just anything that was outside of the norm for the black community. We used to tell those guys, in order to get women, you're going to have to change. You're going to have to get some swag. You're going to have to dress different, so on and so forth. So you millennials and every, you know, millennials and above, you guys are lucky. Black men, you guys are very lucky because now you can lean into your own interests and they know that you guys are not a monolith. Back in the day when I was growing up, we had to be the same. We would have been laughed at, even though there are some guys out there that say, you know, they say that they've experienced people clowning on them and stuff like that for being within anime. But you guys don't understand how it was when I was growing up. If we had different interests or we like to video game, even your family would talk about you. So you guys are very lucky to where you are able to lean into your own interests and be your own particular black man. And I remember I seen a video by Crew Season and there was a young dark skinned guy where they were watching Austin Dunham's video. Closer you fit to where that's that stereotype, you like some yeah. girls will be they they'll just be down, especially black chicks. I was about to they say they like that shit, bro. I, I think that mostly attracts black chicks. They I don't know yeah. what it is, bro, but they like that. Mm -hmm. They they don't like when a dude has it together. Like, I, I don't know. Like, yeah, yeah, bro. And I don't want to say that because it sounds like I'm yeah. trying to bash. I'm not bashing black women, but it just is what it is. Yeah. That's been my experience. I attract I the most Latinas and white girls. Mm -hmm. That's what I attract. Yeah. Same, same. I think because I have that professional clean cut R and B type of look, that's why I also mostly attract Hispanic and white women. Austin Dunham was saying, well, people ask me, do I like black girls? And then you guys be in the comments like, do you not like black women? I'm like, black women don't like me. <laughs> and the guy on cruise season was like, man, I can already tell because you ain't got no swag. Come to me and I'll change you. Looking at them in the way they talk, you know what I'm saying? And what they were saying. Yeah, you, you going to a black club and you want the baddest one in there. You know what I'm saying? You don't qualify for that. Your game ain't there. Yeah, I care less how you look. Care less where your status at. I can I, I can hear it in your voice. Your game ain't there. Come to my school. Come to Sleaze University. You ain't got to do that shit here, bro. I want you to say stay exactly the same. Because basically what the black community is trying to do, they're trying to get you to conform and be somebody else that you're not in order to get the majority of black women to like you. And I'm telling you right now, you don't have to do this. Because the guy that we're going to review from the Balloon Pop show, there was absolutely nothing wrong with this young man. It's not him. It's just simply what black women, most black women prefer. So I want you guys to understand that I'm not doing this to tell you guys, hey, man, this is what you need to do. You need to sag your pants and you need to go out there on the corner, drink a 40. Now that we got jobs, things the way they supposed to be. <laughs> and then you'll start to gain the attention from the majority of black women. No. I want you to stay exactly who you are. Whatever interests that you have, lean into it. And whatever that attracts, then that's what you go for. Okay? Do not change. Do not change just to attract a particular type of woman of any race. The woman that's for you will find you. And you will find her. Okay? So I just want to make that very clear before we move forward. I'm affirming you guys right now. Don't change. No matter what the black community says, you don't need swag if you don't have it. There's going to be some woman out there. She may not be black and she will take a liking to you. And you know what you need to do? Jump on it. Jump on it. <laughs> All right. That's a friendly message from your neighborhood media, man. Okay.